Hello friends, in this session, let's take up a question from GATE 2013 uh, dealing with your tuple relational calculus relational algebra and SQL. So, in this question, we've been given three schemas with us. We have student courses in registration as the three schemas. So, uh, the question is, which of the following queries are equivalent to this query in English? The query is, Find the distinct names of all students who score more than 90% in the course numbered as 107. So let's now check the options for this. Obviously, in this sort of question, what you have to do is you need to check for the options. You need to check which are the correct ones and mark wrong the wrong ones. So finally, then after you have the ticked once as your final answers you just choose the correct option from the options below so you have four queries over here let's take them one by one the first one is select distinct s dot s name from students as s so basically you have represented the student relation as s and you select the s names from there Comma registration as R, you have taken this registration table as R, where R dot roll number is equals to S dot roll number. So this is basically what you're doing is you're taking a Cartesian product and then you're applying some condition over that. What you're doing is you just, you have selected the students which have the same roll number. And then what you do is over here, you say that the course number should be 107 and the percentage of that student should be more than 90. So the course number should be 107 and the percentage should be more than 90. So according to me, this option is correct. I'll just tick mark this and then we'll check for the next possible options. The second part says, now this uh, first part was your basic SQL query. The second is from your relational algebra point. Uh, point of view so what you do over here is you perform a join of registration and student so registration and student now this is what this is a this is a natural join and it will join on your common attribute which is roll number so uh, then what you do over here is you say that so in natural join, this condition comes automatically, which is student dot roll number is equals to registration dot roll number, since it applies the join only on the common attribute. So you do not need to specify that condition now. And what is the condition specified over here is that course number is one zero seven and percent is more than ninety, and then you apply a projection operator to choose the student names which satisfy this category. So again, this is also correct as per me. Let's move to the next one. The next one comes from your tuple relational calculus. Now, what does it say? It says that select those tuples, select those tuples, wherein you have some of the students, S belonging to students, R belonging to some registration, some students which satisfy this condition. Which condition? That for some of the students where S roll number is equals to R roll number, you have course number is 107 and percentage is more than 90 and name in both the tables T and S is equal. Right? T and S is equal. So this T and S is equal. What does it mean is that for the tuples, the t name of the tuples is equals to the name that's, that is specified in the student table. Right. And then you take those tuples out of this. So this is also correct as per me. Very simple tuple relational calculus example. You just selected those certain set of tuples. Uh, what you did was you said that I need some tuples which belong to these tables satisfying these conditions. That's it. Belonging to the same syntax of a generalized uh, tuple relational calculus query wherein you have a tuple. Then you say which is the table it wherein it belongs to and the condition. So that's all for this. This is correct. Then let's move to the fourth one. Now fourth one is also an example of tuple relational calculus, but it is some modified form. What does it say? It says that you have SN, you have some records over here. Okay. Then you say there exists some SR and there exists some RP. So this is basically a representation of this SR and RP. Fine. 
what does it says next it says that where sr and sn belongs to students so every tuple in student is represented by this sr and sn that means sr is the roll number of the student sn is the name of the student fine then and and with the same name of with the same roll number over here and with a certain percentage over here course id is 107 where am i taking this uh, syntax from i'm taking it from the schema with the same roll number with the course number as 107 i have some certain percentage okay and then rp this percentage is more than 90 and for those what i do is i select this student names i select these names so just uh, just think upon it again what is it uh, select those names where these names belong to the student table there are also roll numbers within this with the same roll number in the registration table and course id 107 you have a certain percentage and when this certain percentage is more than 90 i need to fetch those student names so again this is also correct so the final answer in the final answer you need to tell which of the statements were correct so the answer that i'll mark is 1 2 3 and 4 so a part is the final answer for this question so that's all for this session hope you enjoyed this video in case you like this please like it and if you have any doubts relating to this or any other topic please, uh, please feel free to drop them as comments in the comment section below and keep subscribe for more good work coming up thank you